You're watching TV 7 and 4. For Northern Michigan, this is News Watch, 11 p.m. edition. Hello everyone, I'm Maureen McGuire. Jerry Meyer has a vacation this week. Nearly three miles of road in and near the village of Gaylord is set to be completely removed and rebuilt. Gaylord's Main Street is also Highway M32, a main east-west route. The State Department of Transportation plans to rebuild about two miles of it, about a mile of M27, which intersects M32 at Midtown. Much of the traffic is generated by the I-75 intersection west of the downtown area. An average traffic uh, volume here uh, of approximately 25,000 vehicles a day on M32 through town. And the roads have deteriorated to the point that they've got to tear the, the surface right down to the basic dirt or gravel surface and repave it. The downtown work will begin after the summer tourist season. Mackinac County may have to cut its sheriff department's patrol officers to balance its budget a measure that's splitting the county in two. Those who live in the western half of the 130-mile-long county won't have any patrol officers if the measure does go through. And they're afraid they'll have to pay extra to keep their streets safe. The county is asking townships to share the cost of road patrols, but those in and around St. Ignis won't help. There's no way that it can be covered with one or two people and I, I just find that it's ludicrous to uh, start talking about cutting road patrol up here. It's not fair because even if the like, three townships would pay the salary of, of one deputy, the sheriff, if he gets a call in the town,